Hey, Clovis Elementary Jags, this is Mrs. Kellum, your principal, and I'm excited to give you an update about coming back to school after Thanksgiving break on November 30th. Today is Wednesday, November 18th. We've had a very exciting week on campus. Our transitional kindergartners and kindergartners have been here. So we are so excited to welcome some of you back. And we are very, very proud and excited for some of you to continue your distance learning. And we are calling that CUSD Connect. A couple of weeks ago, your parents participated in a survey and made a really important decision on what is best for your family. So like I said, if you are coming back on campus, we are excited to see you. And if you are staying online, we are so excited to see you on Zoom and we are so proud of your hard work and dedication to learning. We have a lot of Prowl learners out there. This is what your schedule is going to look like if you are in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth grade. It is the same for everybody, and it is the same whether or not you are continuing online or if you're coming to school. So just like today, your school day is going to begin at nine o'clock. You might have some other meetings between eight and nine. You might be getting some extra help. Your teacher might have set something up for you, but you will zoom in with your class at nine o'clock. That's for everybody, just like normal. At 10, you'll have a quick 15 minute break. You'll hop back on Zoom at 10.15. You'll do work for another hour and then you will go to your lunch break. Now here is where things change a little bit. After lunch, we're gonna have two groups of students learning at the same time. Some of you are going to come to school and learn in person in your classroom. The rest of you are gonna log back on Zoom just like we're doing now and you'll continue learning with your teacher. Sound good? This schedule is for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And again, it looks a lot like what we're doing now. You're gonna start at nine, but our school day is gonna go a little bit later until three because our breaks and our lunch time is a little bit different. If you're coming to school at 1215, you're gonna go straight to your classroom. Unfortunately, all of the playgrounds are closed and we cannot have recess. So when you get here, you're gonna get dropped off, go straight to your class. If you are Zooming with your class, you're gonna have a great little lunch break and at 12.30, be back on that Zoom, ready to go. On Wednesdays, our schedule will stay just like it is now and everyone will Zoom together on Wednesdays with your class. So you'll hop on nine, just like every other day, you'll get into Zoom and you will stay with your class until your lunch break You'll be logged in until one o'clock and then your teacher will still give you some of those great independent work assignments to keep you engaged from one to two. So your Wednesday schedule is going to stay exactly the same. Isn't that great? Hopefully much less confusing for everyone. If you are coming back to school for in-person learning, I need six really important things from everybody. So I hope you can help me commit to these. Our staff is very committed to all these things as well. So first of all, your parents agreed to an acknowledgement. Your parents have agreed to all of these things too. So make sure you check in with them on that. The second thing is that if you're coming to school, you need to be healthy. You should not have a fever. You should not have a sore throat. You shouldn't be coughing. You should feel healthy and strong and ready to go. If you are feeling sick, you can stay home and keep Zooming during that third instructional block. No problem. If you are feeling too sick to do your work though, that's okay too. Make sure your parents call in your absence and get plenty of rest. Number three, everyone has to wear a mask while they are at school no exceptions. So make sure you have one that you like that is comfortable. Number four, social distancing. You've probably experienced this already or heard of it. We have to stay six feet away from each other at all times at school. Kind of like if you've been to the grocery store recently or you've gone somewhere with your parents, 
you'll notice there are lots of signs up and there are oftentimes tape on the ground so you can tell where you need to stand so you stay six feet away from one another. Number five, punctuality. That might be a big word for some of you. It's a way to, stay, way to say on time. We need you to arrive on time and we need you to get picked up on time so we can have a very smooth drop off and pick up process. Number six, positive attitude. I know everybody has been studying our character strength through positivity project and we want everybody to show up with an open mind ready to work hard and follow directions. Some of our school-wide policies, if you've been attending Clovis Elementary already, these will be really familiar to you. We have our Clovis Unified School District address code, so make sure you review that with your parents. You know what you're able to wear to school. Unfortunately, we cannot have visitors on campus. So that means your mom and dad or whoever's dropping you off, your grandparents or another caregiver, they cannot come with you onto campus. That even includes walking you to your classroom. So we have all next week off, guys. We will be off for Thanksgiving break. I encourage you to stop by school and practice. Practice with your parents where they're gonna drop you off and how, how you're gonna get to your classroom because you will have to do that by yourself. Attendance will be taken, like I said, if you're not feeling well and you cannot come to school or you cannot Zoom, make sure you call the office. Meals, we are excited to serve you if you're coming in person. When you leave at three o'clock, there will be a breakfast and a lunch waiting for you right outside your classroom door. Isn't that wonderful? And they are free, no problem. If you are doing CUSD Connect and on Wednesdays, you will still need to pick up your lunch just like you're doing now. What should you bring to school? Most of our students will need to bring their backpack. If your teacher has told you something different, please pay close attention to what their expectations are. But you can bring a backpack. You need to remember your mask. We'll have extras just in case you forget. Water bottles. Unfortunately, we had to disable and turn off all of our drinking fountains. So if you're the type that gets thirsty while you're at school, please make sure you bring a water bottle. You'll need to bring any assignments or textbooks, workbooks, any resources that your teacher tells you you need to bring. Pop those in your backpack and bring them with you. You should not bring a laptop, tablet, or any other electronic device. Sixth graders, I hope you're listening. Sixth grade, we're gonna allow you to bring your laptops, but first through fifth grade, we will have everything here at school for you. You do not need to bring any food or snacks. You don't need any toys. You do not need athletic equipment. You do not need your instrument if you're in fifth or sixth grade. Leave all of those things at home. Our classrooms are ready. Your teacher might have already shown you this, but they're gonna look a little bit different. We have furniture spread out. Everything is spaced six feet apart, and your teacher has been preparing individual supplies. You will not be sharing anything while you're in the classroom. This is a picture of room seven, Mrs. Noel's class, and this is K2. Like I mentioned, we have our kindergartners back in school. Don't those students look great? They're working hard, they've got their masks on, and they are six feet apart. What will happen if you get sick at school? Well, you're not going to come to our regular nurse's office. You're going to go to a room that is connected to our school cafeteria. It's called our care room. Someone is going to be in there to take very good care of you. But I will tell you, they will be in full PPE, personal protective equipment, so that they will be wearing a mask, they'll have gloves on, and they might have a gown on. So it might be hard to recognize who's in there, but I promise they are there to keep you safe and make sure that you get picked up quickly. So you'll wait in that room until your parent or guardian can come and pick you up. After you've been gotten sick at school, unfortunately, you will need to stay home for quite a while. You can Zoom with your class if you feel up to it. Also, if you have brothers, sisters, or other people that live with you at home and also go to Clovis Elementary, they will have to go home with you also. We want to make sure that we are not spreading germs and we are not getting one another sick. What can you, to, what can you do to get ready to come back to school? Remember, make sure you have a mask that you are comfortable wearing. And I'm gonna to talk to you about 
are entering and exiting school maps. Remember, I mentioned you should practice getting to your classroom. Well, we're going to have very specific spots for you to come to your classroom. So if you are in um, kindergarten, if you are in room 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, or 14, so that's Ms. Trigero, Ms. Robles, Ms. Mullins, Mr. Partita, and Ms. Ruiz, you're going to come through campus right by the kindergarten classes and go straight to your classroom. If you're in room 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 7, or 8, so that's going to be Ms. Holt, Ms. Weber, Ms. Narbites, Mrs. Keller, Mrs. Berry, Mrs. Noel, Mrs. Terrence, you are going to enter between room one and the office, go straight to your classroom. If you're in room 17, 18, 19, or 20, so if you're headed to RSP with Mrs. Benuelos or Mrs. Pearson, you'll enter there. Mrs. Evans, Mr. Franz, Mr. Bedwell, all of our sixth grade students will enter behind the library, between the library and the cafeteria. And if you are in fourth or fifth grade, room 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, that would be Mr. Penning, Mrs. Dosey, Mrs. Steinhardt, Mrs. Volante, Ms. Cruz, or Mrs. Prandini. You're gonna go behind the cafeteria. You'll have to walk on the grass a little bit, past the snack bar, all the way around to your room. That might be really difficult to remember, don't you think? We're gonna have big signs posted so you know exactly where to go and lots of adults out to help you. Don't be afraid to ask where you need to go. Once you get to your classroom, your teacher is gonna really quickly check your temperature. This is a picture of Mrs. Jackson. I'm sure a lot of you had her as your kindergarten teacher checking someone's temperature yesterday. Super easy process, nothing to be worried about. When it's time to get picked up at three o'clock, we're going to excuse our bus riders first. You're going to go to the bus loading zone and then your teacher is going to walk you out to the parking lot. And you're gonna follow the exact same path that you used to get to your classroom. When you walk out to the parking lot, there are going to be cones with your room number. You're gonna line up right behind that cone and wait for your parent. If you have younger siblings or someone that you go home with in a younger grade, you can go to them and stand with them in line. It will be important to remember though, you can only stand close to someone if you live in the same house as them. Otherwise, as we wait in line to get picked up, we will be six feet apart. We'll also have signs out that tell you where your room number will be. And again, lots of adults out there to help you. We are so excited to be able to do this safely and patiently. So we need your help with that also. Do you normally ride the bus? Check with your parents, what's the plan? Have they registered and signed you up for the bus? Make sure you know what to do after school. If you have any questions, there are tons of resources available on our school website. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have links to all of our bell schedules here, those maps that I showed you, COVID testing sites, and then recorded presentations that I sent out to your parents as well. If you have questions, please don't be afraid to ask. We are so excited to see you. I'm sure your teachers told you that same exact thing. And if you're continuing online, we are so, so proud of you. Keep it up. Jags, we are on the prowl for excellence during distance learning, during in-person learning. Stay focused, work hard, do your best. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving break and we will see everyone on November 30th.